in business, normally we should use the language which actually is easier for business people to understand each other. That's why I've decided to use English instead of Swahili. so that we can communicate easily and make the business easy as well. So, fellow Tanzanians, you will bear with me. Today I will speak English instead of talking in Swahili. <laughs> so that we can save time and the money for translating. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the terms of business. First of all, Your Excellency, my brother, Jacob Ozuma, and the friends, I really feel greatly honored to be with you at this particular moment. And it's a special moment for two countries. And I understand you have been here since morning, and much has already been said. And I am sure that by now, thousands of African businessmen and women are fully aware of the investments and the business opportunities available in Tanzania. And so do Tanzanian businessmen and women. Nevertheless, allow me to say a few words. Your Excellency, President Jacob Ozuma, and the brothers from South Africa and Tanzania, First and foremost, I would like to welcome our guests from South Africa to Tanzania. As all of you very well know that Tanzania and South Africa are very good friends and strong allies. Our friendship was forged during the liberation struggle. And of course, since the return of the majority rule in South Africa in 1994, our two countries have been very, very cooperating at the bilateral, regional, and international levels. It is against this background that I wish to a very sincere welcome our South African friends to Tanzania. Please do feel at home. This is indeed your home. I know you will be here for a short stay. I've been told by my brother that probably he would be leaving today. But sincerely, I look forward to welcome you next time so that you get a chance to experience and enjoy the diversity that Tanzania has. Distinguished member of business community, as I said before, that I'm sure by this time my compatriots from Tanzania Investment Center and the Zanzibar Investment Promotion Authority and the other Tanzanian government agencies and the private sector have already informed our South African friends about the investment and the business opportunities available in our country. But that notwithstanding, I would like to add my voice as to why we ask South African business people to come to invest in our country or rather to their yet another home. Firstly, Tanzania has got a conducive business environment. We are a peaceful and a politically stable nation. We have enjoyed an interrupted peace since independence. Secondly, our country has put in place stable and the predictable economic policies and the investment regime that are friendly to investors. They are comparable to any that any investor would enjoy in almost all the hot spots of investment flows in the developing world. They are favorable physical incentive to investors with regard to the corporate tax, custom duty, VAT, capital investment, work and resident permits. The investment law provides for protections of investments. We are also a member of the International Center for Settlements of Investment Disputes 
and the Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency, MIGA, of the World Bank, so it is safe to invest in Tanzania. Your Excellency, we have a huge market. As you know, we are located in a very strategic area, bordered with eight countries, including six landlocked countries, namely Burundi, DRC, Malawi, Rwanda, Uganda, and Zambia. This country, by any large of use, Tanzania territory to conduct their international trades. Doing a business with the Tanzania automatically implies you will be doing business with the landlocked countries. That's why I say Tanzania is the best place for investment. As a member of the East Africa community, with a population of 165 people, millions of course, and the Southern African Development Corporation, SADC, investors are also assured of the huge market of approximately 400 million people. Besides, we have the trade quota and the tariff-free trade arrangements with China, India, Japan, USA, and the European Union. So you can see, doing business with Tanzania, automatically you will be doing business with China, India, Japan, USA, and the European Union. So it's the best place for investment. <laughs> Your Excellency President Zuma and a distinguished member of the business community, apart from good business environment, we have plenty of businesses and investment opportunities in our country. We have 44 million hectares of arable land, of which less than 10 million hectares are currently under use. The climate is favorable for agriculture, water for irrigation is also plenty, and the land is fertile. Almost all crops can grow in Tanzania. So if you can test the soil texture of Tanzania, it's favorable in all crops. You can come with those who can test the soil and they will get the positive results out of it. Your Excellency, on the issue of fishing industry, fishery is yet another subsector that present businesses and investment opportunity for the private sector. Our country now needs at least 400,000 tons of fish per annum, yet we are now producing only 30,000 tons. In this respect, in order to promote fisheries business in Tanzania, the government has reduced the import taxes on most of the fishery equipment, including those used in fish farming. In line with this, we invite investors to invest in this sector, whereby opportunities range from deep sea fishing, fish processing, can acquire culture, and the establishment of the lending facilities. Actually, Tanzania, if you can talk of, on the issue of fishing, we have more than 21 lakes. We have, the lake, we have the oceans. If you calculate the distance from Moa on the northern part to Musimbati on the southern part, it's more than 1,424 kilometers. <laughs> and then we have the area of Zanzibar and the deep sea. We have so many rivers. So this industry of fishing can be accommodated very easily with those who wish to invest on this issue. We also invite investors to come to invest in one of the fast growing sector in the country, that is tourism. This industry accounts for about 24.0% of the export and 17.2% of GDP. We are the only country in the world that has allocated more than 
of its total area of the wildlife for wildlife and the other resources conservations. So the whole country, 25% is reserved for, for conservations. And there are 16 national parks, 28 game reserves, 44 game controlled areas, and one conservation area and two marine parks. Opportunity exists for investing in areas such as tour operator businesses and the tourism infrastructure development, particularly construction of the first class hotels in the town, game parks, as well as along the 1,424 kilometers coastline of mainland Tanzania and the beautiful shores of the Spice Island of Zanzibar. Our construction sector is also growing very fast. Our list of projects in the pipelines is very long. We have huge infrastructure projects which require investment. And this it can be by build, operate, and transfer, build, design, and transfer, or you can just build and stay with the, with the load or bridge. But as well, in the field of transport of energy and water, we therefore welcome South African investors to come to invest in these projects. Your Excellency, President Zuma, distinguished member of the business community, Tanzania is committed to becoming a semi-industrialized nation by 2025. To this end, we have decided to put it to greater asset on building a strong industrial base, including setting up export processing zones and special economic zones as points of industrial growth and the services to promote export trade. I therefore invite you to come to make full use of these ponds for our mutual benefits. <laughs> for those of you who have capability for mineral processing, investment opportunity exists in the mining sector, where we have precious gemstones and the minerals including gold, diamond, nickel, tanzanite, graphite, just to mention a few. But we have different guesses in Tanzania. We have the methane, ethane, propane, helium, and etc. This local available raw materials will ensure investors with the raw material for extraction industries on a low cost but with the higher value investments. Because we have all these minerals, but we always sell these minerals and processed without adding any value to it. So we are already the loser. We are losing a lot. We have every minerals, but we are getting just a minimum. And probably because those who used to come here, they are just after profit maximizations without a win-win situation. So you brothers and friends from South Africa, this could be another opportunity to share together, to share the value of Tanzania and South Africa as far as mining industry is concerned. Let us share together on the win-win situation. <laughs> Our service sector is also growing very fast. There are enormous opportunities in the services sector, particularly ICT, which is among the fastest growing subsector in Tanzania. In addition, manufacturing presents great opportunities. Tanzania has immense raw materials based from agriculture, livestock, fishing, forest, and mining. Tanzania, we are the second, if not the third, having a big number of livestock after Ethiopia and the Sudan. Still, we have just a few industries and factories which they can process and they use this opportunity. So, even if you talk of the forest, 
we have plenty of lands which forest is there. All this waiting for investors from South Africa to come. Our construction and service services are also growing very fast. Our list of projects, as I've said, is very long. There is also a telecommunication, banking, insurance, and et cetera. We therefore invite you to come to make full use of these opportunities. Your Excellency President Zuma, dear member of business community, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I could go on and on mentioning opportunities for investment that are available in Tanzania. I'm sure friends from Tanzania have already told you all the opportunities. But it is not my intention to labor you with long speech. But before I conclude, I wish to take this opportunity to once again thank President Zuma and your delegations for visiting us. We are greatly honored by this gesture of friendship. I wish also to commend the organizer of this business forum, Dr. Mengi, and his friend from South Africa. It has been a success by all standards. Finally, I wish to once again to welcome South Africa business people to come to invest in Tanzania. I can assure you, Tanzania is the best place for investment. <laughs>